So in this last video, we talked about why exactly Node.js is used in building web applications. And in this video, I'm going to set up the basic application using Node.js. So let's do that. Hey everyone, this is Kamran and I'm a full stack web developer working in the industry for a long time. And in this video series, I'm going to teach you how you can use Node.js and build an application on top of that. So let's start creating a basic application in Node.js. For that, I'm going to use the terminal or the command prompt in Windows. And I'm going to tell you each command in detail so that you can also develop new application using Node.js. So first I'm going to go to my desktop and create a new folder over here. And we are going to start with the basic of Node.js. And at the end, we are going to convert this Node.js application into a e-commerce backend. So I'm going to name this application as e-commerce backend. So we have already created a e-commerce of front end using angular in the angular series. So you can look for the angular tutorials in the playlist. And for now, I'm just going to create a simple folder. So you have to create a simple folder as well. And then from the terminal, you have to land on this folder. So from the terminal, you have to go to desktop and from desktop, you can simply go to e-commerce backend. And in this, we are going to set up our Node.js application. For that, we are going to use NPM, which is a node package manager, which I have already discussed in Angular and React.js tutorial setup videos. But I'm going to again go through that so that you can get an idea. NPM is a node package manager, which is used to set up a new project as well as we, we used to pay, maintain packages in our project. So how do we install that? So for that, we have to go to the official website of Node.js. So from the official website of the Node.js for Windows, you can simply download the executable file for the Node.js. So there are two version available. So this is the latest version with the latest features. And this is the long time support, which is the most stable one, which is used by the most users. So I'm going to install this in our application. So you just have to simply click on this and this will install an executable file, which you can run and install the Node.js. And along with Node.js that will install the NPM on your local machine as well. And for the Mac OS and Linux, there are different steps which you can follow from any blog given. So I will share the link of the blog in the description, which will help you to set up Node.js in your local machine. So once you install the Node.js in your local, you can simply verify it using node version command. That is node hyphen V. So once you type this hyphen V, you will see that the node 16 has been installed and you can also use hyphen hyphen version. So, and if you run NPM hyphen version, that will give you the version of NPM installed. So that is 7.10, which is the currently it is for 16 node. So once you are confirmed that you have installed the node and NPM, now you, you are ready to set up your basic application. Let's clear the screen using CLS and now we can set up a basic project using that. So for that, we are going to use an NPM command, which is NPM init. So init stand for initialization. So this will initialize a NPM project or the node project. So once I enter, it will ask me different questions, which we have to give. So the first question is what we would like to name this application. So we will keep it as a e-commerce backend, which is the name of the folder itself. So I enter the version will be 1.0 because it is the beginning of this application and description. You can add something which I will add an e-commerce website to learn basics of Node.js. And it will ask me that what would what should be the entry point of an application. So it should be it we can keep it index.js or whatever we want to name it. So I will name it as server.js. So we have to create a file name as server.js in which which will be our entry point. And we have to add a test command which we will skip for now. And Git repository also we are going to skip. We are not going to add this into any Git repo for now. And we can also skip this keywords and author in author. You can add your own name. So I'm going to use Kamran and license. We are not adding any license, so we can skip this as well. So it is asking then is this OK? So I just I'm going to say yes and our basic application is ready. So now you can open this using any code editor you want. So I'm going to use uh, VS code. So for that, I'm going to say code dot 
and this will open my application into a VS code editor. So I have to say yes, I trust this and in this application, you can see we have only packages. So let's talk about what exactly is packages. So packages is the file in which we are going to maintain all our packages. What is packages and how do we use that? I'm going to cover in the next video. For now, you just have to keep in mind that all the project details and the dependencies of the project goes in this project. So now as, as we have already mentioned over here that we are going to keep the entry point of our project into server.js. Let's create that file. So I'm going to create a new file over here name as server.js. And in this server.js, we are going to simply do small task, which will be our app basic application for now. So I'm going to just print some consoles over here which will show that our application is ready to use. So in this basic application, we are just going to print some lines which will, which will say that the new application has been created. So in order to print in the line on the command line, we have to use a console log. So how to use that? We are going to use the console of Node.js. So let's use that console and dot log. So if you are using VS code, there are different kind of support already available for Node.js in the VS code, which you can use. So for now, I'm going to just print something in this console log, which will be my first Node.js app. So when I am going to run this application, I'm going to get this print on my console log. And now what is the best way to run this application? So for that, let's get into the packages and, and in this we are can say we have scripts, right? So for in this scripts, we have test, which is not in use right now. So what exactly the scripts do? So scripts we can use to add some predefined commands in the node application. So in order to run any node script, we just simply use node and the name of this file. So let's try to do that. So from this CLI, I can simply write node and I'm going to name the file and I'm going to hit enter. So here you can see my first node edges application, which we have added in our application file is printed over here. Now we have to move this command to the node inbuilt command. So for that, we are going to use this script in the package.json. So in the script package.json, we can add multiple scripts. So now I'm going to add a start in this script and on start, what we have to do, we have to mention over here. So for in the start of this application, I'm going to just run node.server and this will run this particular file for us and how to use this script. So on this CLI, we just have to say npm start and this will pick up that script. And once I hit enter, so here you can see some more lines when we run uh, the npm starts. So here we have this project name and its version. And when we run this command, what exact command is running on behind the scene is printed over here. And then the output of that command. This is how you create a basic Node.js application and run that in through using CLI and npm command. Hope you understand the basic and from now you can set up a basic Node.js application. In next video, we are going to add some more difficulties into this application and we are going to play around with this application. Thanks for watching the whole video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would suggest you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you next time when I'm going to upload any awesome video, you can get the notification of that. Happy coding everyone. See you in the next video.